Hey everybody, in this tutorial I'm going to walk you through the process of importing your Daz characters into Character Creator 3. Alright, so what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and create a Daz character here in Daz Studio 4.10 Pro. So I'm going to go over here to Figures, and I'm just going to throw in a Daz Genesis 8 female. And this works with the other Daz characters as well, we'll talk about that in just a moment. And you can see her right there, and uh, throw in some clothes. So we're going to go to wardrobe and just basic wear 01. We're going to keep our, our character really simple. Okay, just showing you the process here, getting started. And go over to hair and throw in some Toulouse hair. And then we can probably go over here to our shaping and maybe uh, modify the morphs a little bit. Um, let's give her, give her some, uh, uh, maybe some bodybuilder details on the body there. Just like that, some definition. We'll see the definition a little bit later. A little bit emaciated. All right, something like that'll do. All right, and there's our uh, beautiful looking Daz character. And we're gonna go ahead and export her to FBX format. But before we do that, we need to apply a special T-pose. And this is a T-pose that comes included with Character Creator 3. So I'm gonna go to this uh, folder here. Now this is the directory structure. Yours will probably be different. Most people have it in their C drive uh, and under documents and stuff. But I have this uh, template, uh, the template folder where you find all the iClone templates and everything basically. Uh, character creator 3 template and then there's a folder called Daz uh, Daz resource right here okay and in Daz resource you'll find a number of different T poses okay for Genesis 3 female uh, Genesis 2 hive wire Michael Victoria okay we're using the uh, Daz Genesis 8 female character we're going to just go ahead and apply this uh, T pose this uh, Dyson file to our character all right and you can just uh, see all the T poses here if I make it a little bit larger those are just the images okay I'm going to choose my Genesis female, Genesis 8 female T-pose right here. And let's apply it to our character. Click and drag it onto our character. There you go. Okay. So that's all you really need to do. From this point on, we can just go ahead and export it. So file and export. And we're going to just export it her as a test gal, as a test subject here. Okay. Now make sure you have 2011 binary selected. And all these other options uh, should be checked off here as well. And edit. Uh, edit morph export rules. You want to have a rule uh, for head with a period at the end there, a little period if you can't see it, and just ignore that. Okay, well, I'll, I'll provide a link in the description for our initial uh, uh, Daz Genesis 8 import tutorial uh, in the description for this video as well. I'll just close that down and go ahead and accept. And we're going to export this FBX file. And when we're finished, we're going to import it into Character Creator 3 using a nippy, nippy little tool called the Transformer. Okay, so I'm going to close down Daz. We no longer need to have Daz open right now. And here we are in Character Creator. So let's go into uh, the Transformer tool, which is up here on the top left. Okay, select Transformer and select our test gal. So this is used for importing all the Daz characters into Character Creator 3. What this is going to do is this is going to note, uh, automatically uh, notice that we have a couple of different items on our character. Uh, their cloth, the bra and the panties are both cloth items. The hair, uh, the Toulouse hair needs to be changed to our hair type. Okay, so go up and select hair type here. And there's also a document in our wiki that provides a more detailed uh, look at all the different layers and which which uh, items of clothing they suggest putting on which layer and whatnot. I'll provide a link in the description for that as well. But let's go ahead and just press OK for now. And that's going to import in our Dez character right here. Okay, there you go. Uh, beautiful looking uh, Genesis 8 female. So what we're going to do first is take a look at applying a pose to our character. So I'm going to go over here to poses. And in the main folder here, let's go down here into Motion Plus and Female. I'm just going to apply a pose to her. And we'll see the first issue to come up is we have the bra straps that are going through the character's uh, skin mesh. Obviously something we don't want. So what we need to do is we need to transfer the skin weights. Okay, so we have a new feature with Character Creator 3 that allows us to uh, do that. So let's go over here to Attributes. And I need to make sure that I have my object selected that I want to transfer the skin weights for. Uh, in this case, the bra. And we'll go over here to transfer skin weights. Pretty simple. And we're just going to use the default template. All right. And that should fix the problem. There you go. Okay. So we have it uh, weighted to our character's uh, skin mesh much more accurately now. Okay. Uh, let's do the same thing for the uh, the uh, panties as well. The bottoms, if you just go ahead and uh, select those set 02, for example, you'll notice that, uh, yeah, we're going to have problems with those as well, especially on the back there. Okay. So let's go ahead and fix that. Uh, do the same thing. So, so this time select the uh, bottoms here and transfer skin weights and we're going to just use the default template. We'll talk about a different template in just a moment here. I'm just going to go ahead and apply that and there you go. It, uh, it's all weighted fine and dandy. Okay, so let's turn her to the stand pose and there you go. Everything looks fine. 
Okay, so what we're going to do now is just test out applying a couple of uh, different morphs to our character. So once we import the character, we can now apply Character Creator 3 Morph Library to it, which is pretty cool. Let's go over here to our Morphs tab. And let's just make it a little bit larger so we can actually see the names of our uh, morphs. And okay, so I, I'll probably have a lot more morphs than uh, some of you because I've purchased a lot from the content store. So some like these Peter, Bunny, and Alethea, you won't probably won't have those unless you've purchased the pack from uh, Tokamotion in our content store. I'm going to go down here to, uh, you know, something like Heavy, for example. If I click and drag that uh, Heavy slider, you can see our character will get, uh, you know, heavier. And so pretty cool stuff. You can apply all this, all these different uh, sliders to your character, make her uh, thinner, and you can use Fitness to, uh, you know, uh, buff her up, almost like the Bodybuilder slider over there in uh, uh, Daz that we just had there. And there's a uh, Body Tone as well. So all these cool uh, different sliders that we can use. Um, Voluptuous is a, always a popular one for uh, for female characters, okay? Let's see what that does. Uh, and I think we'll just go ahead and just leave it the way it is. We'll, we'll work with what we have for now. Okay, so now the next item of business is applying different uh, accessories and clothing to your character. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and apply a different hairstyle. So let's go over here to uh, the base tab and go to our hair. Let's go to the folder actually. There we go. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply like a conforming hair volume one, this uh, Agent Scully line bob, I like to call it. Okay, because it looks like uh, the uh, favorite FBI agent there, Agent uh, Scully from the X-Files. And uh, you can see it applies really nicely and accurately onto the character's head. Not a problem. All right, let's go ahead and apply a couple of clothing items. Uh, I'm going to go here to my uh, cloth pad, and uh, we're going to just go to our basic here. And I'm going to just choose a full body. And let's try and find the uh, full body folder. There we go. All right. And I'm going to apply a dress that I've uh, purchased from the content store, this leather dress. This is from one of our developers, uh, Pixton. You can find this in the content store. I'll go ahead and I'm just double click and apply that to our character. Okay. And you notice that this kind of has the same sort of issue. All right. So we may need to do uh, some transfer skin weights for this as well. All right. A little bit of an issue there on the, uh, on the chest area. So let's go ahead and follow the same process. Uh, transfer skin weights, but this time we're going to go ahead and use the dress template, okay, and apply that dress template there. Okay, so that normally fixes the problem. Okay, you may see like, you know, some sort of uh, breakage through in the mesh like this. You know, we could be lazy and we could just, you know, delete the underwear underneath it, but I'm going to go ahead and show a little bit of uh, using the edit mesh tool. Okay, so let's make sure that's selected and uh, make sure the dress is selected here. Let's go to scene manager here. Yep, and go to edit mesh. All right, so here you can use a number of different tools. Um, what I like to use is the Sculpt tool, and I like to use this uh, one here. You can uh, pull it. Um, another way you can actually just really uh, easily fix this, like small issue like this, you can also go to Conform, and in Conform, I like to maybe increase the size by a few, uh, you know, points here. Maybe even 0.5 or 0.6, 0.7 do the job. Uh, 0.10 does the trick normally. Okay, and you can see in the back here we have a different issue. So for this this issue. I'm going to use the tool that I just had there. Uh, we're going to go to Conform, and we're going to do the uh, Edit Mesh now, and the Sculpt, and I'm just going to pull the mesh a little bit further out, okay? So if I just go ahead and uh, change my radius maybe a little bit larger, I'm just going to go ahead and pull this mesh slightly outwards, just like this, okay? All right, and you, normally if you're doing this sort of stuff, you want to have a, you know, a larger... Uh, larger radius. Okay, you want to make you want to you want to make it more uniform. You don't want to have any like jagged little parts that are kind of just sticking out all by themselves. Okay, so something like that. And then of course you can also use the smooth uh, tool as well. So you can smooth it. Uh, let's just pump up the strength for the smooth tool here. And you know some area like this where it's kind of uh, a little bit there's a ridge in the back there. You can click and drag and just really smooth that out. Okay, just like this. And you can smooth the mesh at any point you want, down here as well. You can see how it's magically just transforming and becoming smoother, okay? Uh, you can go wild with that and, and, you know, in the front here as well, for example, if you don't want to have this sort of uh, crevice area, you can smooth that up, okay? All right, it's looking a lot better there. And I think we're good to go. Okay, so let's go ahead and throw on a jacket on top of this. I'm going to go out of Edit Mesh no uh, Mode now, and we're going to throw another jacket on top of this. Let's go to our Content tab here, and back to the main folder, and we're going to go into Coats. There is a, a leather, accompanying leather jacket for our character here. We can throw that on as well. There you go. 
All right, looking pretty good. And you can see a little bit of the same issues there um, just on the, on the chest area. Okay, you can transfer the skin weights. You can try and transfer the skin weights for this. Uh, just select default there. So once we transfer the skin weights, you can see there may be some issues that you can just smooth out. So we can just go ahead to uh, edit mesh here one more time and sculpt and just kind of smooth it out a little bit, especially down here along the, uh, along the uh, lower chestal region. All right, just kind of smooth that out. And uh, you can probably bring it out a little bit as well. Just kind of smooth it out just like this here. All right, there we go. And I'm going to just, at this part here, just maybe pull this out slightly. There we go. Pull it out just like that. All right, you can have fun on your own time just, you know, messing with all this stuff here. The red part needs to come out a little bit. All right, I think we're good to go. I'm going to be too picky, just kind of want to show you that and maybe smooth out the top here a little bit as well. Wrinkle the areas and smooth those out. All right, I'm not going to be too picky, but uh, anyways, you can go to town on, on smoothing out stuff all you want. All right, let's go ahead and uh, go out of edit mesh mode here. And then we can also throw on some high heels just to complete the outfit. Since we don't want her to go to the club shoeless. So let's go over here to our uh, main folder one more time. And down here to the shoes uh, folder. And I'm just going to select, uh, let's go ahead and maybe just use professional outfit. There's some cool stuff in there. This is a uh, separate purchase from the content store as well, just so you're aware. Um, maybe we can throw some, uh, some knee boots on there. Something like this. All right, there you go. Now she's looking... Uh, fancy and ready to go out on the town. All right, and then we can also, you know, throw in some different uh, custom poses as well if we want. Let's go over here to uh, poses, maybe stand 03. There you go, looking fabulous right there. Now, once you've got the pose you want, you can go ahead and test out a couple of different lighting scenarios by going over here to our uh, project section. And in the main folder, we'll have a Lightroom folder. All right, these are some uh, embedded uh, Lightroom templates that we can use. Uh, throw in something like this uh, Sky on Fire one, for example. Looking fairly cool, like she's looking at a sunset or something. Maybe that's why she's squinting her one eye or winking her one eye right there. All right, or maybe something like this uh, rim light one right here. Uh, much more fashionable, and you can see some more, you know, hard shadows on the character, a little bit more uh, interesting. And you can, you can do some studio lighting as well, like uh, Studio 01, for example. All right, so very, uh, you know, studio type lighting. It uh, really depends on the scenario you want. There's all kinds of different um, light box uh, templates here. You can go wild and choose uh, whichever ones you want. Um, but that's about all I wanted to show you guys in this tutorial. So uh, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you check out our other uh, tutorial videos on Character Creator 3. And hope you enjoy it. And make sure you check out our forums as well over at forum.reillusion.com. And I hope to see you in the next video.